welcome to this new video and today we will see that how we can add an animation to our button in android studio using kotlin so we will add an animation like this which is a bounce effect and let's see that how we can do that so we will make a small button to add the animation here and you will find the link of the website in the description so you can simply read it and you can do it by yourself or if you are stuck in between then you can watch the video so first of all we will add a new resource file here for the animation and name it at bounce So the second step is to copy the code from the website you can find the link in the description the third step is to create a cotton class and name it as my bounce interpolator so you can type it or you can copy it from the website The next step is to copy the code for the class and you can simply copy paste and it will convert the java code to kotlin by itself so it's not done so we will add a function here and now after clicking on this button our function should start so we will add here on click and it will and our function name is click so it's done now what we will do that we will implement our code here so where button click the so we are first finding the button by the id the idea for a button is button as you can see here that is the id button so we will also change the text so that we should know that it's and we set to make the simple and now we will add the code here so if the code get converted to quartin then it's good otherwise we need to write the same code here if you can delete this and simply comment this out and here instead of button we have button clicked so it button clicked and here we need to add a double so keep it 20.0 so now it's all done you can see a error here so we will resolve this then it will be all done So keep it as where and now the error is removed. So we will simply now run our code 
to see if it works. So it may happen that if you copy paste the code here, it may happen that the code does not get converted to Kotlin. So you can simply write these three to four lines and you can do it. Let's wait till our emulator gets started. Our app is getting installed and now it's getting on. So now if you click, it's you can see that it get changed and also we get a bounce effect. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you liked it. So if you have any query or if you are getting any problem, then comment down below. I will try to resolve your problem. So thank you for watching this video.